what's up everybody hope you all had a great weekend hope you all had a great day <clears throat> getting into this episode of gh um i enjoyed this you know for the most part i did i really want to salute the scab writers i really do because i, I feel like these i ain't even gonna call them scabs uh, <laughs> i don't even like the word but these temp writers i feel need to become permanent writers because i'm digging the little stuff that they're adding to it that we haven't seen in a while and I'm going to get more into that a little later, but I'm loving this direction they're going with. I mean, I'm here for it. You know, the way that the dialogue is flowing and stuff like that. I like it. You know what I mean? I know some people may not, but this is just my opinion. I like it. Um, so getting into this, I, I agree with Alexis a thousand percent of everything she said to Molly because I feel like it was a reality check. You know what I'm saying? It was being brutally honest about this whole surrogacy thing and stuff like that. Because everything she said was so true. It's like, you know, the only good thing about it is, yes, Christina, you know, being the surrogate would mean Molly would have a biological connection to the child. But that's the only good positive thing about this because you have to think about all the other negatives that comes along with this. Will Christina be able to detach herself from this child and just play the aunt role knowing she's the biological mother like could she do that could she give up her firstborn child her first biological child could she just hand that over to her sister and act like this child is, oh that's just my niece or my nephew that's it could you really do that could she really do that i think alexis is right i mean you know these are things that her and tj are gonna have to talk about and you know what and, and decide and i think this is something christina needs to think about it's huge you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it would just cause a lot of problems within the family. It would cause a huge rift between Molly and Christina because I don't see this going smoothly. So I think Molly needs to take what Alexa said. And I think she needs to really consider that, you know, and I think TJ needs to really consider it. You know what I mean? I would rather if you're going to do the surrogacy thing, go for somebody that you don't know, get a nice contract, you know, a very ironclad contract and do it that way you know what i mean i wouldn't use a blood relative for this i just feel like it's going to be messy it's going to be complicated um so yeah i think she really has a lot to think about on this one because it's going to be a mess <laughs> even though i am here for mess but i i feel like it's going to get too messy because they already got issues you know that they're just now working out and stuff like that and we all know Molly has no problem flying off the handle when it comes to being angry with Christina. So she might want to heed this warning that her mother gave her. Um. So anyway, moving on from that, this is what I was talking about when the writers, when I said the writers, the temp writers were going in, a, a, you know, showing, adding some things to the show that we don't get to see often. Michael and Christina, we don't never really get no scenes with Michael and Christina. I don't think we ever do. You know, it's very rare that we see them in scenes together, even having a one on one chat. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm very happy when I saw that. And I love what Christina said to Michael at the end of the day. He needs to stop being an ass. It's, you know, he, he really do. I mean, this whole grudge that he has against Nina, this his anger towards Sonny. He need to let that shit go because it's, it's corny. It's wearing very thin at this point. Um. And I feel like the reason Christina, I feel like Christina definitely was upset with Nina at first about the whole Knicks and Falls thing. Of course she was. But I think a big part of why Christina was able to move on from it so quickly than the others was because one, Carly ain't her mama. <laughs> Sonny ain't do her mama wrong. And two, I feel like she's grown. You know, she has her own life to live. She has other things she's focused on right now. She's not going to sit here and put all her energy into hating Nina when she got so much other shit going on with herself. You know what I'm saying? Furthermore, like she said, Sonny and Nina are engaged. What the hell could, even if she was angry with Nina and wanted revenge, what good would it would come out of it? What good would it do? They're engaged. They're going to get married. They're, you know, it's a done deal at this point. Um, So what good would it do? Plus, I just think on her end, Sonny has been by Christina's side through her darkest moments. Even when he didn't agree with a lot of her life choices, he didn't discard her. He didn't kick her to the curb. He'd been there for her. So she has a different bond with Sonny. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, especially when she came out to him about being bisexual and stuff like that, that was another big moment for her that Sonny showed up for. You know, he did not judge her. 
He was there for her. He listened to her. He accepted her. So that deepened their bond even further. So I feel like that's why she's more on Sunny, you know, side and she's not angry about this. And she's just letting her dad live his life and with no judgment because he allowed her to live hers without judgment. So I think, you know, that goes a long way for her. You know what I mean? And it's just at the end of the day, it's it's a petty feud. It's like, let it go. Um, And I do believe Michael deep down wants to forgive Sonny. I definitely do. The mere fact that sometimes he calls him dad, the fact that he told Christina to lean on Sonny and go to Sonny and talk to Sonny and stuff and get his help and all that. I, I think he wants to be a family, a true family with him again. He just needs to let that anger go. Um, But I do like that she wants Michael to be on the board of her shelter. You know what I'm saying? I know Christina has anxiety about it, but I think she can persevere on this thing. I think she could really pull this off you know with the right people behind her and the support system that she has i think she can do a bang up job with this and make it a hit and maybe even open up more in different places you know different states different countries she could make this thing national she could make it a franchise if she wanted to you know what i'm saying I, i'm just dreaming big on this one because that's that's just me i like to go big or go home and i think this would be fucking amazing for her so i'm glad she had that little you know quality time with michael and they got to talk and she got to air out, you know, what's going on in her life and stuff. I loved it. You know, little scenes like that. I really do. Um, so anyway, moving on from that. I love the little conversation between Anna and Sonny because something about them. I don't know. I got a little vibes that they was kind of flirtatious a little bit. Not too much, you know, but I see a little chemistry. I'm like, okay. I don't ever see Sonny with Anna, though. I, I don't. <laughs> I, I could never see Sonny with Anna. Uh, 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 no. Um, sleeping together at one point. Like, if they ever, you know, hop in, the, hop in the bed at one point. I could see that happening one night. But as a couple, mm -mm, nope. Mm -mm. But Sonny needs to listen to Anna. Because at the end of the day, even Anna's telling him, yo, you need to leave them pipe men people the hell alone. Because even she know about their reputation. You know what I'm saying? She knows about their rep. So, Sonny needs to find a way to get up out of this mess. You know, because he's in deep at this point. He's he's accepted a few shipments from them. So he need to find a way to get on about this mess because Valentine done said they dangerous. You know, Dex done told him they dangerous. Now, Anna telling them they dangerous. Sonny need to figure out how to get out this this predicament at this point. And they need to find out who the hell taking shots at their asses. Like, is it Sonny they're taking shots at? Is it Anna they're taking shots at? Like, who's who's getting popped at? Like, we need to figure that shit out ASAP. <laughs> who's taking these bullets? Um, so anyway, moving on from that, um, it's crazy to watch Cyrus be vulnerable in prison because when he was behind bars, he was the man the first time, like he was calling the shots. He called out a hit on the entire Corinthos family in one day from behind bars, like, and to see where he is now compared to back then when he first popped up, like that was some serious power. You know how much power you got to have? To have a whole family wiped out in one day from behind prison walls, you got to be one powerful SOB to make that happen. One powerful being. And to see him now, fast forward now, he's in prison getting bullied. You know what I'm saying? Got somebody picking on him, trying to fight him every minute. You know, now this man, he having a heart attack. I'm like, good Lord. Like, I'm not used to seeing Cyrus right like this because Cyrus was powerful as shit at one point. Now he done lost all the power. I'm like, good Lord. Um, but, you know, it was it was cool to see Drew step up and help him out because he didn't have to. And I'm like, this is the most entertaining I've seen Drew since he's been back. You know, at least you get to fight and kick some ass. That's more than what he did in Greenland. Uh, I'm just saying. Um, but Drew better be careful with that book, dude, because it seemed like the power that cyrus used to have book now has the power so yeah, he's affiliated you know he got a lot of allies so drew might want to you know keep his head down or try to do something because now that you done beat this man up oh he coming for your ass because he straight up embarrassed book so you know book about to come back harder at him so drew better keep his head down he better pay attention to everybody that walked by him because any one of them could be having a shank on him you know what i'm saying you better be careful i'm just saying it's gonna be a mess um, so anyway, moving on from that. Oh, it was so fun hearing Tracy on the phone with Monica. I said, oh my God. When, like, I miss Leslie Charleston. I miss her so much. Like, oh my God. 
I would have loved to see her and her and Tracy have dinner together. I'm mad Monica had to cancel dinner because of medical emergency or whatever she had to go deal with. Um, but I did. I like the little sit down between Tracy and um, Gregory. I was surprised he invited her to dinner. He was like, all right, come come join me. You know, um, and he was a gentleman, too. He even offered to pick up the check. I said, go ahead. And Tracy sitting there trying to act all coy. Oh, I don't know if there will be a next time. Tracy, you know you like that, man. Because he had her laughing. Like, he had her at the dinner table laughing when he was telling that little story about his early teaching days or whatever. He had her giggling. I said, now, it ain't easy to make Tracy giggle and blush like that. It is not that easy. Because that is a stone-cold, hard-ass woman. <laughs> The only time Tracy giggle and stuff is when she throwing shade at somebody. But to have her genuinely giggle at a story that you tell, I said, okay, Mr. Gregory, you, you might be in there like swimwear, sir. You might be up in there. You might have, you know, hit the joy button on Miss Quartermain. I'm just saying. Um, But I'm not surprised that she noticed that he had a little tremble in his hand and stuff like that. And he tried to cover it up or whatnot. She knows something ain't right. And, of course, she's going to call Alexis to find out what the hell is going on. I'd be surprised if Alexis even tell her the truth. But even if she don't, you know Tracy. Once she latch on the sun, she might just go rogue and try to find out her damn self what's going on with this man. But it is time that Gregory just tell his kids what's going on. Like, this has been going on long enough. And it seems like his symptoms are about to start getting even worse. So it's like, go tell your children what's going on so they could be there. You know, and they could process this stuff. You know, you don't want to wait till you can't talk anymore. Can't, you know, do anything for yourself anymore. You don't want to wait till then. And then they find out about it. That'd be the worst way. So I think it's just time that he tell them. Um, so moving on from that. Martin, yeah, he a shifty little somebody. Like he changed subjects all the time. Like he did not want to talk about that deceptor, you know, painting his ex-wife, his third ex-wife out to be some little greedy heifer. Um, I don't blame Lucy for having her guard up with him. I don't blame her. She got to. She got to be on her P's and Q's with that man. Because something in the milk ain't clean with him. Like, he lying about something. Like, and I don't blame her for wondering, like, is he the greedy ex-husband or is she the greedy ex-wife? Which one is it? Because everything's going around in her head. Like, you know, maybe he don't want to get married because he ain't trying to stop the, the gravy train from coming through. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that. And I know Lucy going to start getting impatient with his ass. Because one thing about Lucy Co, she do not like to be embarrassed at all. She do not like to be embarrassed and she don't like to be played. So, Mr. Martin, you better come correct, Kentucky Fry. You better come correct. You better come at her better with just a biscuit dinner, with just a bucket of chicken and a biscuit. You better come better than that. You better come with some good information, sir. Because Lucy Co is not to be trifled with. You better come better. Come on now. Get it together. So anyway, that was pretty much the whole episode. Um, hit the comment section. Let me know what you all thought. And I will see you all later. Have a great night. Peace.